This tutorial is part of a larger demonstration about how Pergeos can perform multiscale analysis. We have scanned a carbonate sample given by the Master Institute in Abu Dhabi with the Heliscan MicroCT. We have here the big plug scanned at 16 microns, a small plug scanned at 5 microns, an SEM slice acquired with a 2 micron resolution. All have been registered. 3D to 3D for the two plugs and 2D to 3D for the SEM and the 5 micron micro CT. We will focus here on a technique to upscale the pore space from the SEM slice to the 5 micron plug. We have on the left the SEM slice at 2 microns and on the right the exact same slice from the micro CT plug scanned at 5 microns. The extraction of the micro CT slice is discussed in another tutorial. That will let us segment the pore space at the high resolution and apply some strategy to validate the pore space segmentation in the 5 micron plug. The segmentation of the pore space at 2 microns is straightforward and we can achieve it with a high fidelity with a simple thresholding. Running the porosity module with the pore space and the mask, we obtain a value of 10.36% for the SEM slice. Looking at the 5 micron micro CT slice and comparing with the SEM 2 micron slice, we clearly see that some pores are not resolved at 5 microns. The porosity is around 7% when it should be 10.36%. Assuming that the pore space is defined in the lowest intensity values, we will then use adaptive thresholding to apply the exact same value of 10.36% and look at the threshold values. The histoquantile R1 value can be set via the label analysis module. Once the adaptive thresholding has been applied, we run a global analysis on the pore space to look at the maximum threshold value. We see that the thresholding was 19,306 as the upper limit will give the equivalent porosity of 10.36%. The goal is now to apply this thresholding to the entire plug. The plug scanned at 5 micron is quite large. It is about 30 gigabytes. We will use the slab processing modules to extract the pore space thanks to a recipe including the thresholding with the previously obtained value in order to avoid a memory overflow. Once it is applied, we get a 3D pore space that can be visualized with volume rendering. A volume fraction by slab module, indicating the mask as second input, will give us a value of around 15%, which is close to the value of 14.7% obtained in the laboratory.